Hi, this is Charlie from Photocentric with another short instructional video. This time I'm going to show you how to get into your printer preferences so that we can change the settings in an effort to get you printing your negatives as dark as possible. As you can see, I have my negative in front of me here. I'm going to go and make a medium uh, stamp. The new print window appears. If I click print, I'll go into my printer uh, general settings box and I select the printer that I wish to use. If I go into preferences, a whole new set of um, options will appear. Now you'll have lots and lots of different tabs across the top here according to the different type of printer that you may have. Um, we can't obviously show every printer but I'm going to give you three default settings that I would like you to find in your tabs and ensure that you start off by changing those first. Okay, so into the features. The first thing we're going to do is change the paper type and we're looking for these three words, photo, paper, mat. That's what you need to be looking for, okay? It may not have HP in front of it because you may have a different printer. So find photo, paper, mat and click OK. If you don't have photo, paper, mat, then go for inkjet transparency film. That would be the next best option. Okay, but since I do have photo paper mat, I will click that one. We're going to look at print quality and we want to start off with normal print quality. And next we're going to go down to the color options and we're going to select black ink only. Okay, those are your three default choices. Photo paper mat or transparency if you don't have it print quality normal and black ink only. If I was to click OK and then to print that would start the process. Now I don't want to print this big negative only to find out that I haven't set my printer preferences um, dark enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Microsoft Word and I'm going to create a uh, text box and I'm going to color it black. The way I would do that is insert text box draw out my text box to roughly about an inch square, format the text box and under colors and lines in the first fill box select black. Click OK to that and I have a text box. So instead of printing out my big negative to find that uh, my settings weren't dark enough, instead I'm going to print a series of black boxes and if it doesn't work on the first time, I'll move to the next one and change some settings. And if that doesn't work, I'll move to the next one and change some settings. And each time you can keep printing until you find the right settings that work for you. So when I've printed my first box, I will take the inkjet film to a light or to a window and I would run my finger behind the uh, black here. And basically, you'll know it's dark enough if you cannot see your finger when it slides behind the black. If it doesn't work, that setting did not uh, work properly so you need to go and change something. I would change initially if you have photo matte, uh, the mo uh, photo matte paper um, I would change that to transparency and try and print the next box. If that didn't work I would select best quality instead of normal and keep trying. Okay now if you have a laser printer um, and you've printed out on laser film, you're going to need to wipe the um, powder because it's uh, it's a powder coating that comes onto the film with a, uh, a liquid substance such as turpentine or use a density toner spray once you've printed it out um, to get the powder to bleed and the pixels to bleed to give you a black um, enough image so you have to wipe it with turpentine or, or spray it with density toner spray and then let it dry for 15 minutes but that's only if you're using a laser film if you're using inkjet just keep printing your little boxes like this and immediately once you've printed just check to make sure that you can see or can't see your finger behind the black box hope you've enjoyed this little video i hope it's been of help and look out for some others soon